biggie, biggie, baby. Hey. Welcome to paradise, guys. Like, yeah, it's surprising, but you have to think that it's the nature of the game. I need to express myself right now. Um, I don't feel, oh, for the first time in this entire time that I've been here, I don't think that that I was true to myself. It doesn't feel like it was the right decision. Yes, Johnny was, you know, annoying, but I saw some true colors in someone else that um, I didn't like. I think too many people have been in your crotch, baby, and not in your mind. I won't say that I think I'm sacrificing my soul. I just think that I made a decision based on other people's interests. You're one of my favorite people I know. Yeah. I wish I didn't have this, like, not in my stomach for making a decision for everyone else and not for myself. I don't want you guys to even respond to this right away. I'm just gonna tell you what I was feeling on my heart. You know what I'm saying? Man to man, I felt I felt real, really, really, you know what I mean, let down. The way things went in Pandora's box. I sat there and got my shit kicked in and came back and tried to fire back as much as I could. And both of y'all sat there and was like, okay, can we move on to the next question? Let's just move the on. They challenged my character. So, you know, that, that's just what I, I was feeling. And But no matter what, I still love both of y'all. I'm just a little disappointed. My bottom line here, my, Raheem, my, here's the bottom line, man. The girls are scared of you when you drink sometimes. I'm not saying they think you're aggressive, but they would rather room with me, Mikey, and Ryan. And that, that, that and unfortunately that leaves you out. And, and the only answer I have is that because Why? you are a little Why? aggressive because and you're they a little feel vocal and they feel more comfortable around that's us. It. Exactly. That's it. And that's not, that's not no diss to you, but no, that's what it just sounded like two seconds ago, guys. I'm just like, you know, guys, you just made it, you painted that picture. Like I was the nut job banging my head on through no, the walls no, no, no. and well, like I'm all, you know, Roy Rage. For you. I can't do that, man. I'm sorry. You, you came right, in man. here to bring us in here to tell us that we, we weren't around when you needed us the most, Mike. I mean, and, and, and to just sum that up, we weren't here when you needed us the most. Is that about right? Yes, that's what I basically came in and said. Okay. Yeah, that's simple. Because you know what? I could have found another way to stay in this game. And now, <laughs> somebody else is playing the game. You guys got another guy. Chris is playing the game. You guys know. Yeah. And I think you're absolutely right. And I think all of us should take this as a learning experience and run with it. Mm -hmm. My thoughts. Absolutely. I did not see him taking us into the room to attack our character. I didn't see that happening. Have a good night, boys. Raheem was right. Chris is all about strategy. From, I mean, from the minute he walked in, strategy. Let's have my stuff. Uh, and right now? Yes, right now I'm getting in the pool. Oh. I'm horny. No, no, not that. You said untie your stuff. <laughs> I thought you meant your top. I look at Chris in the same light as I do Raheem. Um, cocky and confident. Raheem was absolutely right in that aspect too. I, I think we're our, us for our good. Brian, he's gonna go to Lauren. Um, James gonna go to Krista, and Mikey's gonna go to to Tanya. Right. So that leaves us, and then it's gonna leave Raheem. Chris, it's just cruising. He's just on cruise control. That's all he's doing right now. He's just riding it out. He's letting everything work itself out. And then at the perfect moment, I think you're gonna see something big with Chris. You gotta get rid of Lauren. You gotta get rid of Tanya. And I got to choose a guy, I would send Mikey home. Chris. Hi. I have an envelope for you. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> Guests of Paradise, we hope you are enjoying your lunch, but tonight is Lemonation Night, gentlemen. 
It's time to pack your bags because a man left without a roommate this evening will be leaving Paradise Hotel forever. I'm a compassionate person, so I notice all the tension around too with the boys, and I notice that Rahim really believes that he's going home. I notice how everybody's clicking up and getting sad about that, and then some people are happy about that. I just kind of notice people's stuff, and I'm just like, all right. Krista's Krista. Krista embodies everything. She's just a good person, you know what I mean? Like, I enjoy her little small, little girl laugh. Like, I think that shit is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, I, will, I would want nothing bad to happen to her. Now, in order for me to benefit or us to benefit, she may have to go home, but I would still want nothing bad to happen to her. People are just getting too into this game. There's a way to play the game and a way to have fun while playing the game, but still be seriously playing the game. Right. And I don't think it's happening on many levels. Right. People are already backstabbing and scheming. And are they? I think so. There's just been a lot of shit that's happened in the past couple days, obviously. And it's been a tough. It's been a tough week, honestly. It's been the toughest week, actually. It's been the toughest week. I'm gonna go. Uh, hey. I'm gonna go pack my bags and talk with Chris. Just kind of. Jittery. For some reason, when things go down and when push comes to shove, people come running to me. Unfortunately, I don't have all the answers. I wish I did. I don't know how you can be lonely with 12 people around you. I do. I sure as hell do. Um, it's like I want, I, w I w almost wish it was a girl's elimination and I could go home. At first it sounds like, oh, hey, everyone's here, we're here to have fun. I'm everybody's second choice. This is you guys as far as elimination, so of course you guys are nervous. I think yeah, we're nervous. <laughs> Something's gonna happen tonight. You never know who Raheem's gonna jump on and try to try to t try to get with. Chris needs to watch himself a little bit. Raheem, you know, he carries the power around here. Chris needs to respect that he has not been in the game 14 days. Until I'm still the Secretary of Defense until they actually walk me out this place. The girls made a huge mistake last night. You know who this shit got rid of? Chris. Oh, I already know. But the girls couldn't talk. The girls couldn't talk or anything. So anyway, enough of that, because I just came here to tell you how I feel. I like you. You're my friend. You're genuine. As far as I know, you could be pulling my leg. I could be the greatest on the planet, I know. Mm-hmm. But I'm not. Rahim believes himself to be the odd man out who's going home. I don't want to see that happen. TD and Stephanie have formed close bonds with the new guys. So now pretty much you have six people in one group and four people in another. Next on Paradise Hotel, with no one safe at the elimination ceremony. Any one of you could be going home. Who will be the odd man out? And which girl will be forced to end someone's dream? When Paradise Hotel continues.